Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the second tool in the Dave's Shifters micro set, which is the RGB Shifter Mixer. You can get it from the link down below and to install it go to the handbook here in the library which you can get from View Studio Library and Import Macros. So we just start off with a straightforward uh, image and just click the RGB shifter mixer and like the other shifters in this it comes out as a single layer here with a procedural texture control on it which makes it very very easy to control so to do this the best thing to do is look for that where the cursor goes up and down just drag it up to make sure you can see all of the controls so what we have here is basically just an RGB shifter. Um, so when you turn the red up here, guess what? You're going to get uh, more rays in the picture and everything. And uh, it does this literally by increasing the red of, of all the pixels. And the other way, it turns down the red, which is going to make it more of a cyan colour. And the same is effectively true, and this is why you've got magenta green and yellow blue here. But what you can do with this once you've got this is, although it looks just a little bit odd like it is, but you can go to things like blend modes here. And if I say go to the color burn here, you get yourself an interesting picture that's rather dark there. But I can just turn the effect down. So you use a combination of blend modes and opacity. So you've got a, a very a stronger coloring here. See so before. You go before and after. So you've got then a immediately something you can do with these these colorings. Um, what we've also got in here is the top row here is changes between a shifter and a mixer. And what this does is the shifter just turns the like the red up. But the mixer does in the same way as the channel mixer when it turns the red up it also turns the green and blue down so you get effectively a double effect you can see this if i turn this up to be red here and i change this to one to turn it to a mixer everything goes much redder so if you want red you can do that you could also turn the green and blue down here as well if you turn them down the same amount you can get even more red so it's almost completely red which may look like this is pretty terrible, but you've got down here the mono protect. So you can bring up that and you can get yourself quite a strong colouring effect, which obviously is not going to be used here, though you could reduce the opacity on it. But you get some interesting things you can play with. There's always a lot in here that you can do. So I'm just bringing these back to zero. Double click brings things back to the default. What you can do as well here is I can turn, if I turn up the red and the green to the same level I'm going to get yellow because red and green make yellow so that's a way of creating yellow here again you can bring up the mono protect and you can see here you've got a recoloring effect so this because we, what it does is where there is yellow it enhances it even more so the yellow things are going to get yellower and I can feather it here as well which will soften off effects like you're getting in the sky there and you can play with these which will just change the effect. Sometimes, you know, one level will be better than the other. The calculation is quite significantly different when you change that. So, but the zero is usually a, a fair bet, but you've got other options in there. And with this sort of thing, I've turned this up here. Again, blend modes, you can go down here. And if you go down to the, the mode down here, overlay, soft light, these contrast modes, so hard light is often quite an interesting effect. See again the before and after you completely change the picture and it's still quite an acceptable format. Okay, so let's turn that back to normal there and zero these things off. If the mono protect is zero, by the way, nothing below it will have any effect at all. Right, um, what else can we do? Ah, oh, yes, there's nothing we can, can do. If I turn up the red, say here, I got red in the sky and you can, of course, always mask it out. You can do it by with a selection. It's quite simple. I'm just going to take a paintbrush here, make sure I've got black here and I'm going to paint on this directly. It's effectively painting on the mask. 
So here you can see as I paint on it, it's a hundred percent opacity, so it's going straight here. It's going to be a bit crude. I'd be more careful normally, but you can see the effect that where you can basically wipe out the effect that's having, so that you know the areas you don't want it. Then it is quite interesting and useful to do. What you can do as well, bringing this out here again, is you can also get into tertiary colours, because a tertiary colour is where you've got one colour high another colour low, another colour in the middle. So if green is in the middle, I'm going to get orange. So I've now got an orange effect with this. And although I can see it's, a, it's an odd edge on this, but you can just do things like change the blend mode here. Again, to somewhere like, like hard light as we had before. Maybe soft light's better. There you go, soft light. And then adjust with the opacity to whatever suits best. There you go. Hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.